Wow, 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 wow. That's the first time we've ever had that on live. You know, we're just grateful to God. We, we, we're here and we, we, we're just making it happen. And, uh, and I tell you, that was, that was, that was unbelievable. Uh, what was the name of that song again? Uh, fill Me Up. Fill, fill me, up. me Up. Wow. Fill Me Up. Now, I think you have a CD or something, right? Yes, sir. Okay, tell us about that. Um, I got, um, he gave me uh, two original songs, and um, the first song is called, um, um, never went blank. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I understand now, the that. You <laughs> the keep living. The <laughs> <laughs> now, the first song, uh, I'm still full of, you know, Phil. Okay. Now, but the first song is, uh, there was a sound. I was driving one day, and I heard um, God said, there's a sound that I'm looking for. You know, and uh, this sound has power. You know, um, I go a lot of places. I minister different places. And um, a lot of times when you go places, a lot of people know how to praise God, but they don't know how to worship God. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, worship is the key to bringing healing and deliverance and manifestation in your life. And, you know, when God gave me them words, he just said, um, there's a sound that I'm looking for. There's a sound. So um, I just wrote down the words. And a week later, I said, let me go into the studio and try to, you know, put this down. I won't let this go because it was so rich. And um, I attempted to record it and uh, went to the studio. And uh, the first time I went to record it, after he put the track together, the uh, computer locked down and shut up, shut down. They had mm. to restore the whole computer. They said in the 32 years that they've been doing, you know, recording, this never happened. You know, so I said, well, I'm going to wait a week and come back later, you know, after they get, re get it restored. Right, right. So a week later, I came back with the same song. And, uh, you know, um, while attempting to record, the computer locked up again. Mm. And I was like, well, what is wrong with you? What is up with your song? You know, mm -hmm. and um, I was like, God, well, what is it? You know, so I, tr I tried a third time and, you know, went through. And, um, you know, while I was playing, you know, while I was recording, I had my children with me. And um, I was in the studio and I just cut the lights off. I said, you know, it's time for you to just focus, you know, and get this sound out there because this sound, you know, brings healing and deliverance. And uh, on my card, I has music that shift and change the atmosphere because, you know, uh, one thing my dad shared, he said, you know, when you play, you should play, you know, with the intent that somebody will be healed, delivered, and set free through your music. Right. And, right. Um, you know, over the years of playing, you know, I've been, whether it was, you know, on downtown New Orleans or well, a you church. You played all over. Wherever it is, you know, wherever the spirit leads me to go, I'm going. And, um, you know, you wait to hear somebody say that they were healed and live, delivered. And um, so I wanted to put that sound in, um, on, on CD. And the other song is um, He That Dwell in the Secret Place because, you know, David went into the stronghold, you know, to get away. It was a dark place, but it turned out to be his secret place. Mm -hmm. You know, that dark place turned into a place of healing because I went to, through a dark time in my life where I didn't want to be alive. I didn't want to, um, you know, some things were ripped from me, you know, but it was in those dark places that I found God. You know, it was in those dark places that I found healing. It was in those dark places that I found deliverance, that I found the light, and that I found love. And it was ministering to people on a daily basis that allowed, you know, me to get through it. And um, I wanted to put it through music, you know, where people can hear it and feel it. You know, not just, not to get no name out there, but, but, but to get the glory of God, you know, to his people. Mm. You know. Yeah, 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 uh, that that's wonderful, um, unbelievable. Well, I tell you what, you have a, a place here. Whenever you come, you can come and play. Yes, sir. Um, and I decree and declare. You know, I was just reading. Or uh, it says in First um, Samuel chapter eighteen, verse six, and it came to pass as they came when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistines, that the women came out of all the cities of Israel singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tabrets, with joy, with instruments of music. So there's a, there's a power to music. Yes, and sir. Yes, sir. we need to understand that. Yeah. And what you are saying is that God has blessed you as a minstrel you know, the prophet said, get me a minstrel so he could yes, prophesy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there's something to music. Yes. And God said that he was going to restore the tabernacle of David, right. which was different from the tabernacle of Moses. Yes, sir. Moses' tabernacle was about law and sin. Yes. yes. 
David Tabernacle is about praise and worship yeah. and music and singing and dance. Yes, sir. And so God has given you, and it would appear that he has intensified what he put on you. Yes, sir. There are some people who might play, pay to get paid, but there's something that he has done particularly special for you uh, and intensify the call, the w I'll say the worship. Yes, yes, sir. Because praise is about joyful sound, but worship is about a reverent sound. Yes, sir. Yes. And in our yes. culture, we like praise. Yeah. We don't know music. We don't know worship. Yes. And so one of the things that I've often said, and, and often felt, I should say, I felt it more than I've said it, is that our people are missing worship. You see, when you worship God, yeah. you know Him. Yeah, the one with because mm -hmm. you you have gone through something yes, sir. that only He could have taken you through. You were facing a dark time, like you said, in your life. And it was coming out of this dark time. Yes. That you learn something about the greatness of God. Yes, sir. Most people don't understand that God is building the tabernacle of David. Yes, sir. Which means now they're going to go through some dark times. But the dark times is not who they are. Yes. The dark times should not define us. What the dark times should do is only give us a greater understanding of who he are. is. Yes. Yeah. And when you come out of the dark season that you know it was impossible, you're a young man and you said you were thinking about death and suicide, but you came out of that. Yeah. Yes, sir. And in coming out of that, God has introduced to you a portion of who he is that you didn't know up to that point. Yes, and you don't jump around, you fall down. Yes. You lay down. Yes. And you recognize yes. if it hadn't been for God. Where would I be? Yeah. If he hadn't brought you out. Yes, yes. If he hadn't delivered you. Yes, Lord. If he hadn't come in with his power and his host. Yes, Lord. Yes. Because you know you were at the end of yes. the road. Yes, Lord. Yes. But the greatness and the power and the magnificence of the, our God yes. came in and delivered you. Yes. And he humbled you. Yes. You didn't jump, but you made love to it. Yes, Lord. Yes. You lay before him. Yes, Lord. And you said things to him that you had never said before because you had never been through this experience. Yes, Lord. It was this experience that caused you to see the greatness of your God. Yes, Lord. And now when you say, God, I love you, you're not saying it because somebody else says yes, it. You're saying it because yes. inside of you, yes. you understand yes. now that yes. you were about to give up, yes. about to quit. Yes. You had come to the end of the road, yes. but the love of God came with a host of his angelical yes. creature and yes. scooped you up out of darkness yes. and brought you into the marvelous light yes. and gave you a way when there was no way. Yes. And you don't want to jump up and down and miss the moment. You want to lay before him and say, Father, yes. Yes. If it hadn't been for you, where would I be? If you hadn't come in at the moment you came in, I would be dead. But I just want you to know you are the true and living God. Besides you, there is no other God. See, when you learn how to worship God, he comes inside of you. Yes. He inhabits the inside of you. Yes. And he gives you words that you never thought. Yes. You begin to say how magnificent and how yes. wonderful, how yes. marvelous yes. he is. Yes. You begin to talk on an intimate relationship yes. because you know now what you did not know before because it was his love yes. that brought you through one of the darkest times of your life. Well, you are a young man. I'm not going to ask you how old you are. <laughs> but I'm grateful to God yeah. for keeping you. Yeah, my God. And you know, when I say keeping you, it doesn't mean that we don't do some things that we ought not do. Yes. 
Yes, but there is an inclination inside of you to yes. continue to walk with God. Yes, sir. And in this generation where young people, the millennials, are walking mm -hmm. and they're trying to define themselves. Yes. They, many of them have no fathers. Mm -hmm. And some of them have no real true mothers because they're trying to provide a living for them. So they're out there defining themselves on the computer yes. and on the internet yes, and out there in all the spatial worlds on the Facebook mm -hmm. and not understanding that you will never find yourself there. Yes. Because to find yourself, you must find him, yes. him who created you. Yes. And so here you are, a young man who loves God, yes. who has an instrument to play before him, and I pray that God will link you up with this new millennial uh, age and help them to define themselves. Not only through worship and praise, but also through identity. Understanding who they are and why they've been created. That is one of the most important things. You see, when you have a son and you're a father, you're supposed to give him identity. What if there's no father? Your father died. How old were you when your, pa your father uh, passed? 27. So you were 27. You were so young. And there were so many days yet yes. for you to have with him yes. that you will never get with him. Yes, sir. So now you have to define who you are. Yes. You will go through situations and circumstances without that voice, without that conversation. Yes without having that anchor to your soul. Mm -hmm. But I know that you're going to make it because not yes. only do you carry the seed, you carry the name. Yes. And I just yes. trust and pray that God will give you clarity mm -hmm. of understanding and purpose yes. and give you to understand the awesomeness of the responsibility yes. because you are the kinsman of the family called David. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you have the ability to cover them. Yes. Though they may not understand what God is doing, your responsibility is to cover them, yes. to protect them, yes. and to be the man mm -hmm. of God for them. It's on you yes, to do. Yes. And the only way, because the battle has been so intense on that family, yes. on your family, the only way that you'll be successful yes. is that you trust God, yes. that you know him in a way that you can only find out about him from him. Mm -hmm. And as you understand who you are, and what you are, and why he created you to be who you are, then you will get them to understand who they are. Yes. Because identity comes. You see, when Joseph died, Jesus' father, he had to take over Mary, mm -hmm. his sisters, and his brothers. Yes. Yes. He was 30 years old, and there was no father there. Mm -hmm. So we don't know when Joseph died. Yeah. But we know by the time he was 30, Joseph was no longer around. Wow. Wow. So don't take the pressure and say, I'm too young. He was 30, and he had to take on the responsibility. And what most people don't understand, when Jesus went to a city or a town, for the most part, his mother and his brothers and sisters was with him. Yes. Because he was responsible for him. Okay. And so I am going to believe that God will give you an understanding mm. of who you are, and that you will walk into that understanding yes. and do what God has called you to do yes. for the family called the Davises. Mm -hmm. And that you will not be burdened, mm. but that you will be enlightened, yes. Yes. and that you will walk in his glory and as you walk into his glory, God will bless you. You see, I have the responsibility for the Lucas family. Yes. 
got saved at 17. And every day I would go and pray for my mom and my dad and my brothers and sisters because they were all heathen. I had a little uh, tent shed that I made that in the summertime it would get extremely hot. I would stay in it until I couldn't take it no more. And I'll never forget one day I was going back into the house and as I was touching the back door, the voice of God said to me, if you do my will, yes, I'll take care of your family. You don't have to pray for them no more. And from that time, a long time ago, I don't pray for them. I remind God, I'm still doing your will. Yeah. Hmm. I'm wow. still doing what you called me to do. And he has been grateful to yes. the Lucas family. Yes, he has blessed the Lucas family. Yes, now, they may not understand my role and position, yes. but that's okay. I understand it. Yes. And I don't expect a lesser to understand a yes. greater. Yes. So when God places this on you, they become a lesser, but you become a greater. And they may not understand who you are. Mm. Hello. Yes. And you can't go to them to get definition. Yes. You must know who you are inside of you. Yes. Oh, my God. So, so I'm grateful. Yes. 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 And I'm thankful to God for allowing you to be here today and to say to you that it's not a burden. It's a wonderful responsibility yes. to serve God yes, sir. and to be a blessing to his people. And as you walk with him, you will find that he will start saving and delivering yes. and setting free yes. those who are closest to you, yes. those who need your understanding. And I'm going to believe, God, that the word of God will dwell, rich, will dwell richly in your heart. Yes, sir. So that you can speak the truth yes. in love, yes. and that you will be an extension. My God, as you are faithful to it, you better watch out now. Mm. They might call you pastor. Mm. As you're faithful, they might put something on you. <laughs> as you're faithful, it might already be on you because it ain't. ain't I, I don't say it because it ain't there. I only confirm that it is there. Yes, sir. But you better make sure that. Yes. You know what you're doing and what you're getting into, and you yes. got to have a covering. Yes. Don't yes, ever sir. try to be something without a yes, covering. That's right. And when you find a covering, mm. don't let yes. nothing separate you from it. Yes. My God. I have a father in the gospel mm -hmm. who didn't understand who I was, mm -hmm. who made my life very difficult, mm -hmm. but he's still my dad. Yes, my natural father was, he would love to skin me alive. Yes, my God. He would love to put me in a croaker sack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he talked oh, so crazy. I'm like, ain't no way I'm going to let him do those things to me. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, ain't no way my daddy going to do that. But that's the way he was. That's yes. the way he talked. Come on, skinning me alive. You ain't skinning me. And you ain't putting me in no dog on croaker sack. He going to put you in a croaker sack and stick you in a tub of water. What kind of foolishness is that? Yeah. But it was my dad, yeah. uh, good or bad, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. He was still my father right. that I honored till the day he died. And I preached the day at his funeral, yeah. the greatest man ever to live. Yeah. Because in spite of all his weaknesses, he took care of his wife yeah. Yeah. and 10 children. Mm -hmm. And I will never yes, be so grateful. Amen. And I saw how God used him yeah. to make it happen. And it happened. So my point to you is, no matter how difficult it is, God is still there with you. I, 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 I would like for us to close. I'll get another song. Is, it, is that possible, uh, Dave? Break up the chain. Break up the chain? Break, it, break every chain. Break every chain. Okay, let's, let's hook him up. Let's, let, let, let B, come on out. Come on, B. We ain't got nothing <laughs> to hide. Come on. Get ready. We're going to do break every chain. Okay, he, he need the microphone. He got the. Yeah, come on, take your time. Just come on, take your time. If you ask me how old is it, I'm for, um, be 40 next month. Oh, Lord, boy, yeah. you is old and you be, we the same age. I'm yeah, 39. Yeah, 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 You're going to yeah. be 40. Yeah. You look older than me, though. Yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the school make it 40 next year, so yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so 30. Wow. 
Oh, God, Lord Jesus. Well, we'll talk about the school another time. No, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, I, but, I, but, but that's going back. Yeah, we're going to do something. Yeah, for sure. You is old. To God be you the glory. Is, to God. Where to God be the glory. You <laughs> old God. Well, He's the keeper. Uh, yeah. he, he, amen, if yeah. that's what you want. But, yeah, uh, yeah. oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Well, oh, Lord. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Well, you fought it? Oh, Lord. Jesus. Oh, well, yeah, I remember all of y'all because I know all of y'all. I remember when all y'all were born. So, oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah. But remember, yeah, 42, 43. 43, 43, something like that. Yeah, 42. Oh, God, but really, four <laughs> years older than me. God, have mercy. God, have yes, mercy. Sir. I can't believe it. I, 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 I. <laughs> hey, y'all, but we be going on 50 almost. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go down my head. <laughs> well, you're all right. You'll be there, but you're all right. Uh, oh, Lord Jesus. Well, I tell you, thank you. Thank God for your family. Thank God for the testimony. And I pray that God will continue to use you. Uh, I, I know he's getting up. Uh, uh, so you about ready, Leonard? Yes, sir. All right. Let's, well, Amen. we're going to break every chain. I, oh, my God. We might cry in here now. <laughs> I pray that you receive this. Hallelujah. We're working on it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, you are the God. Chain, break every chain, 
break every chain. of God which passes all understanding that he will keep you. Father, I thank you for this young man. I pray your richest blessing and your richest promises upon him now. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You're tuned into Light City Radio. In this life, you will have trouble. You can't avoid it. You can't get around it. But you can live through it. Life is filled with so many ups and downs. 